Will you please welcome Leo Wyke, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God, thank you. OK, first things first, literally, hey, ah! <laughs> I'm Leo, and recently people have really been, like, trying to get me to be a better person, which I found very sneaky. <laughs> like, recently I was on a date and I ordered a burger, and this guy I was with was like, oh, God, how can you eat meat when you know that there are millions of animals suffering every day and living in inhumane conditions and being slaughtered, do you not care? <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, fair. But there are also, like, people. Do you know what I mean? There are, like, people living in awful conditions. There are people suffering every day. There are people being killed. Like, surely that is what we should be focusing on. Surely that is what's important here, you know? The fact that I don't care about them. Like, <laughs> let's not run before we can walk. <laughs> you want me to care about a chicken? <laughs> Sometimes I don't care about my friends. <laughs> it was nice that he had, like, a strong belief, though. I was kind of jealous of that. I think that could be very comforting, especially at the moment, um, which is why I'm kind of toying with the idea of joining a religion. I think, like, religion's, like, a really good deal. Like, they would give me a meaning to my life, and, like, literally all I would have to give them is my grip on reality. <laughs> Which, cards on the table, I rarely use. <laughs> but my problem is that the only, like, real link to a religion that I have is to Judaism. My family's Jewish. And I feel like it might be a mistake to, like, throw myself into my Jewishness in the midst of this sort of global throwback Thursday to 1939. Because, <laughs> like... <laughs> there do seem to be a lot of Nazis kicking around, which, don't get me wrong, is vintage, but... <laughs> I do also think, like, maybe part of the reason there are so many Nazis around at the moment is people have sort of forgotten exactly why the Nazis were bad. And I say this because my American friend visited me before lockdown and I was showing her around London. And at a certain point, she turned to me and she was like, you know... If it weren't for us, you'd all be speaking German. I was like, something has gone very wrong. If you think that the worst thing that would have happened, <laughs> if Hitler had won the war, would have been the linguistic shift. <laughs> As if the British Jews be sort of marched off to their deaths, all the English people going, lucky bastards. At least they have to learn fucking German. <laughs> so many tenses. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. This has been a dream. You've been amazing. <laughs> I've been Leo Reich. Thank Woo! you. Very funny. Thank you, Leo. Leo Reich, ladies and gentlemen.